everyone! Olá! Bem-vindos a mais um episódio. Today I will be covering homonyms. In Portuguese, palavras homónimas. These are words that have different meanings but are pronounced and spelled the same way. Very confusing for a language learner, right? I will walk you through my top 10 words, giving you different examples to help you be aware of these differences. This is very important, especially for oral comprehension, since you can totally miss the meaning of a sentence. I wanted to thank all of you who have joined my Patreon page. I am so close to reaching 100 patrons. I really appreciate all your support and I'm so happy to see you guys are enjoying my premium content as well. I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to watch my video with a description of the new tiers. If you're interested in being part of my book club, I will be announcing it next week, so be on the watch. E agora, vamos começar! My first word is banco. I'm sure you know its meaning. I would say you probably know one of its meanings. Bank, right? The most common meaning for banco is bank. But did you know that banco is also our word for a stool to sit at a bar or a bench at the park, for example? If you like soccer and you hear the sentence Este fim de semana o Ronaldo está no banco. No, it doesn't mean Ronaldo is at the bank this weekend, but that he's on the bench. So if you hear the word banco, the context is very important. Pasta is one of the trickiest words in Portuguese, in my opinion. It is a big false friend since it's not the equivalent to the English pasta. It's also tricky because it can mean so many things. Briefcase, folder, paste, like toothpaste, or tomato paste. Let's look at some examples. O teu computador tem muitas pastas. Your computer has many folders. Preciso de comprar pasta de dentes. I need to buy toothpaste. Our word number three is manga. This word can mean the fruit mango. Eu gosto muito de manga. Manga is also our word for sleeve. For short sleeve, manga curta. For long sleeve, Manga comprida. The expression to roll up one's sleeves has the equivalent in Portuguese with arregaçar as mangas. You might also hear the word manga at the airport. In this case, it means jetway or jet bridge. So you can think it's a sleeve that connects the airplane to the airport. Next, we have cadeira. You probably know this simple word as chair. It can also mean subject, usually used by college students to describe what different class subjects they are taking in college. A cadeira de matemática é difícil. The word cadeira can also be used as seat. O Rui tem uma cadeira no estádio. Now we have carteira. This noun is commonly used as a wallet or purse in the north. If you hear a student using this word, it might mean something different. Carteira is the name students give to their school desk. Don't use the word secretaria for a student's desk at school. A minha carteira fica na primeira fila. This word is also used for portfolio. Tenho uma carteira de clientes grande. Since I mentioned the word secretária before, be aware that in Portuguese it can mean desk or secretary, the profession in the feminine form. A minha secretária chama-se Ana. Comprei uma secretária nova. I love the word for sock in Portuguese. 
meia. Plural, meias. Technically, when we say meias, we are saying halves because it covers half of a leg. So a pair of socks corresponds to two halves. Genius, right? Therefore, remember that the adjective mayu changes in gender and number to maya, mayush, mayish. As an adjective, the meaning varies from half to middle. Maya ora, maya dúzia, maya dos. The most common use of the word sinal is for sign or signal. Let's look at some examples. Sinal de chamada, sinal de trânsito, isso é bom sinal. The noun sinal is also a word for a mole or a birthmark. Eu tenho um sinal na cara. Sinal is also linked to money, as in a down payment on a purchase. Dei um sinal de mil euros para comprar o carro. We commonly use the word sinal not only for a traffic sign, like in sinal de stop, but also for the actual traffic light. O sinal está verde. Next, we have folha. This word can mean leaf, sheet, as in a sheet of paper, and also page. A árvore está cheia de folhas. Estas folhas estão mal impressas. Vamos virar a folha. A great expression to know with the word folha is novo em folha. It means brand new. Eu tenho um sofá novo em folha. As I mentioned previously, the word massa is the Portuguese word for pasta. Massa does also have several meanings beyond that. One of them is dough paste. Tenho de fazer a massa para o pão. It also means a mass, a large number of people. Está uma massa de gente no aeroporto. In slang, the word massa can mean dough, money. Está cá a massa. In today's episode, I covered mostly nouns with different meanings. There are also several homonyms that can be a noun and a verb. I'll leave that topic for another episode. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you were aware of these meanings. Remember that all my patrons have access to a downloadable audio file and PDF with all written examples of today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Até a próxima!